Welcome back. This is KTN Prime. Thank you for staying with us. Let's now take you to happenings in the county of Migori in the murder investigation of Sharon Otieno. We do understand that the director of criminal investigation did dispatch a team of homicide detectives to carry out the investigations there. Let's bring in our man in the region, uh, Kevin Ogutu, joining us via the phone, live from Kisumu. Kevin, good evening. Um, what is the latest uh, today? Have the, have the detectives been able to um, unearth anything? Have, have they talked to you? A very good evening for Ben Kitili, but not a particularly good evening for uh, the family of the murdered uh, Rongo University student, that is Sharon Otieno. Uh, so, as you mentioned, the latest that is just for uh, getting uh, the investigation into this puzzling murder uh, is that uh, a team uh, from the homicide department, that's a, a, a team, a homicide detective, together with other detectives from, from Bay County, today went uh, to that scene where the body of Sharon Otieno was found. This is uh, some ticket uh, near Owade Bridge, uh, quite, uh, there's just some distance uh, from Oyugi's town. So after uh, assessing the area, uh, picking the samples that they could get, uh, they headed to Oyugi's level four hospital where uh, they also view the body uh, of uh, Sharon Otieno. Uh, they were also actually accompanied by the mother to Sharon uh, together with other detectives and the members of the police who are uh, available at that time. So after that, uh, they informed us that post-mortem will be done tomorrow as a government pathologist is expected to get to that particular morgue where the body of Sharon Otieno is being preserved before tomorrow morning uh, so that uh, the post-mortem could be done and they could uh, do their bit in trying to unravel uh, the puzzle that is who killed uh, Sharon Otieno and for what reasons. Uh, while talking about Sharon still, Ben, uh, you understand that the PA, Michael Oyamo, who is the personal assistant to Migori Governor Koto Bado, will be still the guest of the police until Monday uh, when he will appear in court uh, to either uh, get a bail or take a plea, depending on how far the investigation, investigation uh, shall have gone until Monday. This uh, follows his brief uh, presentation to the Homa Bay Court yesterday evening, where one of the detectives actually, uh, in an affidavit, say that he's a person who is uh, suspected to have either murdered or aided in the murder of Sharon Tatiano. Uh, Kevin, you, so you mentioned TA, that the, the post-mortem will be done tomorrow. Uh, do you have any information of any other test apart from the uh, post-mortem examination? Maybe DNA test, anything, do you know, anything? And also, uh, what is the latest concerning the, uh, the journalist, uh, uh, Oduor, who was also, uh, is also a key uh, part of this investigation? Well, I'm not, a, we, I'm not aware of any other tests that have been done because the information that we got uh, from uh, the team from, from, from Nairobi who actually talked on us off record uh, was that all, every other uh, test will be done tomorrow. And uh, as you've mentioned, uh, there are two people here, uh, of course, Sharon and then the nation journalist who was in hospital, but right now are made to understand that he's out and... I was actually giving an interview in one of the national television stations. So uh, he, we can say that he has recuperated, and uh, we are yet to, get, to hear from the police whether he will be recording another statement or he will be appearing as a witness. That is what we need to establish uh, 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 as soon as we can, Ben. How has, the, how has Sharon's family been taking this, Kevin? Uh, Sharon's family, uh, because... Uh, to start with, the mother who came in the company of the detective to the morgue and was there was crying, justice, justice. So that it in itself explains a lot, despite the fact that she could not allow us to interview her on camera or even talk to us, but the fact that she was wailing, justice, justice, explains it all, that the family is looking towards justice being done uh, to their daughter, finding out who murdered her and why. Thank you, Kevin. Kevin Ogutu. Our reporter in Kisumu giving us the very latest. Uh, we do understand that uh, the postmortem of Sharon's uh, body will be done tomorrow as the <clears throat> modern investigation of 24-year-old university student Sharon Otieno continues.